god. Did you guys see that? Remember guys that I will have a giveaway as soon as I hit the thousand subscribers. I'm going to be choosing two winners. My husband is like a bot in a bot. <laughs> he's mine. He's mine. He's mine. Mm. Wow. Oh, you opened this. Let me just make sure that I got everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not bad. Hi everyone, welcome to the monthly haul. In this haul, we're gonna be opening packages that I received during the month of March. You're gonna see everything I bought and received from PR if I receive anything from PR. And without any further ado, let's get started. Sit down, grab a snack and enjoy. So welcome to the first clip of March haul. <laughs> I have my glasses on because I have something in my eyes, so I know you can see it, but with the glasses, at least I feel more comfortable because I don't like what is going on in here. So let's do it. Let's start. Uh, the first packages are from Colourpop. I'm gonna open both of them right away because they're from the same company. And let's start with the first one. And it is... Yes, they released the Bambi collection. So I bought some of the stuff from the Bambi collection. You can see it here. And I also bought some other palettes that I wanted to get from the company. So let's open up. Oh my God, they're so cute. Bambi is one of the Disney movies that I like the most. I like two of them, uh, Pocahontas and Bambi. They are my favorite and this is how it looks inside. It's exactly the same as the package, which is very nice and super small. I thought it would be bigger, but these are the color story. This is the Bambi palette because they released two others, the flower one and I remember the other character. I wanted to get Bambis and the colors are beautiful. Let's swatch some of them. Let's swatch white tail, young prince and Faline. Faline, I guess. Okay. Let's such it here. Ooh, very, very nice. This is a beautiful one. Look at that. Gorgeous colors, I love it. Very, very nice. And they have them separated into bundles. So I bought the whole Bambi bundle. And it comes with also the Lots Plus. And this is the shade Bambi. The packaging is beautiful. It's so cute, gorgeous. And this is the gloss. It's like a nude with some glitter particles in it. Super, super nice. Very beautiful. Yeah, it's like a nude, but it's going to be like transparent, more like a topper type of gloss. You can see it here. Super cute, super nice. I love the packaging, it's beautiful. And the last product that came in that bundle is also a cream gel pencil. And this is in the shade Metal. This is like a lime, no, it's not a lime. It's like a very faint yellow with some green in it, but it's very nice. This must look amazing in the waterline. If you do a look, maybe using these colors and put this in the waterline and it will open up the eye very nice. Super cute, I'm so excited. I'll probably do something for my social media, so make sure that you follow my social media here. You're gonna find it here listed. And the other uh, thing that I got is the Lyric Palette. These are the mini palettes that they released not too long ago. I think it was at the beginning of the year, but this specific palette was always sold out. So this time I could grab it that they released the Bambi collection and they restock it. So I went right away to grab it. And let's swatch some of the shades. I'm swatching Burst, Cello, and let's swatch Melody. That palette looks so beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at those swatches. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm so happy that I could grab it. And I also got this one, which always went uh, sold out every time that they restock it. This is the Valentine collection that they did for Valentine's, of course. And when they released it on Valentine's, I couldn't grab it because it sold out like in minutes. 
and they have restock it like three times after that and I never could grab anything. But now I could, this is the only palette I wanted from the collection. And this is the palette called, oh my God. Did you guys see that? Oh my God, the whole shade fell off. I can't, I can't. <laughs> okay, the palette is called Smack. I think. And the shade that fell off is <laughs> called Besos. And it was a shimmer shade. I'm trying to pick it up here <laughs> so I can put it back in here. So it doesn't make, um, well, it's already a mess in my floor, so whatever. So here you can see the one that fell off. And let's swatch it anyways. I'm gonna swatch MAC, Canoodly. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And XX. Oh my God. I can't believe what happened. Ooh, that's gorgeous. They are a little bit powdery, but the swatches are beautiful. Look at those shades, beautiful. I guess I'm gonna have to write them because I mean, I have proof on the video showed that I didn't do anything and it fell off by itself. Perfect. Okay, let's put this aside. Let's open the second package from ColourPop and let's see what it is because I don't remember. Oh, okay. I downloaded the Animal Crossing game in my phone and I'm obsessed with it. So you know that ColourPop released a collection with Animal Crossing. I wasn't uh, like too thrilled to grab it because I didn't know what the game was about and I wasn't like, yeah, whatever. But now that I'm obsessed, I was like, I need to grab at least a couple of things because that game is so cute. So that's what it is in here. And I just grabbed like two things that caught my attention and, and was the, the things that I wanted to actually try from the collection. This is the Just a Tint Mini Duo and it has coconut juice and income pure able. <laughs> that's the, uh, the name of the shades. They're super cute. I love this Just a Tint because I actually own two uh, of the shades and they're actually very nice because they are like a lip balm with a little bit of color on, in it. So for example, the, right now that we're using mask and all that, like sometimes wearing lipstick is like pointless. If you have this in your purse, it's easier and also will maintain your lips hydrated and it will give you a little bit of color, which is very nice. Let's swatch them. Let's see how the colors are. Wow, these are very pigmented. Look at that. This is the coconut juice. And the other one, this one is more like a nude, like a peachy nude color. Very, very nice. I love it. This is the incomparable. Super nice. I love it. Very, very cute. And they smell, they, they smell so good. The other thing, actually, yeah, I ordered three things from the collection. I ordered this, and this is called Label of the Ball. And I think this is the, if I'm not mistaken, I did order the lavender. So this is the lavender one. Super, super cute too. And let's swatch some of the colors, why not? I'm going to swatch the pressed glitter and it's called Evil Sisters. And let's swatch this one, which is super cute. And it's called Taylor's Ticket. So let's see, this is Taylor's Ticket, which is, oh, it, it doesn't even show in the camera. I don't know why, but you can see it here, I think a little bit. It's like a very light lavender color. And this is the uh, pressed glitter over here. Let me see if I can maybe saturate it a little bit more. I guess you can see it better there on the close up now. It was super, super cute. And I love the packaging, it's beautiful. And the next thing from that collection, and the last thing I got was one of the blushes. And the blush is called Flower Power. This is the little packaging. It has all the Animal Crossing characters there. And this is the packaging inside. This is actually like a glossy thing. And this is the blush. It's like a very nice mauve type of pink. Let's see if I can swatch it and you guys can see it because blush is difficult to get a pigmented ball. It shows. I don't know if it shows there, but it shows here. So super, super cute. It's a very like bubblegum pink. 
super nice very beautiful and i'm super excited because of the packaging <laughs> and i love the game if you are obsessed too let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite character because mine is broccolo it's called it's like a blue mouse <laughs> and it's super cute and the last thing I got was finally this palette, the Dota palette, which I love it because I love the color scheme and I haven't watched anything about Baby Dota. I don't know anything about the movie at all, but I really love the collection, like the color scheme of the palette. So I really wanted to grab it and let's swatch some of the shades. Why not? Let's the float your crib. I'm gonna do droid protocol and let's do a shimmer one. Let's do this one's sipping suit. Ooh, I don't have space. Wow, they're super pigmented. Look at that. Ooh, super nice. I love, I love this color combination. I love how they have like a little bit of everything. It's not only greens, but you have these colors that if you want to do like an everyday look, you can do with this three colors. You can do a very nice smoky eye and you have these shimmers in here that you can put in your inner corner. So I really, really love the colors in this palette. And it's very cute with baby Joda there. It's super nice. So that's it for Color Pop. That's the last thing from the two packages. The next package is coming from Cockatick. I actually canceled my Cockatick subscription, so I'm not gonna receive it. This is the last package that you're gonna see on, on the channel in a while because I have a lot of things for hair, a lot of hair products that I have received through the subscription. It's nothing against the company or nothing like that. It's just that I have so much products that I really think that I should just stop it, use everything that I have, and maybe if, if I want to do it again and continue with the subscription later after I finish at least half of what I have, then I continue. But this subscription is very nice if you have curly hair and you don't know what products to have for your hair, what to try like I did. Like I didn't know what products were good, what products were bad. I didn't know about companies like that sell good products for curly hair or stuff like that. You can definitely try this company. They will send you products every single month for you to try. It's mainly for people that have curly hair. If you have straight hair, you can do the subscription still. They're gonna send you anyway shampoo and conditioner, but a lot of the products that they sell is more catered towards people with curly hair, basically. But I really, really love the company and I wish I could return soon. But for now, this is the last box that you're gonna see in my channel. This is how it looks like. It came this time with the bag. And let's see what I have inside. This is a little card that comes in it with all of the products that I received. It's another little card explaining something about one of the products. And the first thing I see is these two, which I already own. These are samples for the Cocoa Butter and Biontine Shampoo and Conditioner. Oh no, these are not shampoo and conditioner. This is actually a deep conditioning mask, like the step one. And then the step two, which will be like a living a conditioner after you use the step one. Super nice. Okay, this is different. I haven't tried this one. I have the samples, but for the shampoo and conditioner. So the next product I see here is the coconut oil, argan oil, and vitamin E curl care. This is an intensive deep conditioner. Ooh, super nice. Let me see, does it smell? Mmm, it smells like grapes. <laughs> super nice. This is like a clean brand. I do know this brand. I haven't tried any products, but I know the brand, so super cool that I get to try. The next product I see is the Hawaiian Silky Miracle Worker 14 in In Moisturizer. It's like a leave-in conditioner to protect the hairstyle. And it has like 14 ingredients here that are supposed to activate your curls and moisturize them. Very, very nice. 
Okay, the next product I see, ooh, I'm happy. This is the Innate Hair Collection and Anti-Freeze Texture Cream. I actually run out of this cream because I love this cream so much. I use it every time that I wash my hair to style it. I use this cream and then I use other products to like maintain the curls or, or to define the curls. And this is a very nice one. The one that I have is like already up to here. So I'm super happy I got another one, yes! Next product I see is a huge hand sanitizer. Super nice because we're using this a lot <laughs> nowadays. The next thing I see here is the Moisture Lock Leave-In Conditioner for coils, curls, and waves from Dove. Super, super nice. I haven't tried anything from the curly line from Dove, so I'm super excited that I got this. And of course, I'm gonna give it a try. Super nice. And I love leave-in conditioners because that's my jam every time. I, like I wash my hair once or twice a week, depending on if, for example, I use heavy products or stuff like that, then I wash it a second time in a week. But generally, I just wash it once a week with shampoo. But if I'm going out or something like that, then I do wet it and use some conditioner to detangle. And then I style my hair if I'm going out or something. And I, I'm always using leave-in conditioners because it's the best product I find for my hair. My hair is super porous and very, very dry. So it helps my hair a lot. This is the Lavender Chamomile Body Cream. This is a little sample they sent. And the last product I see here is their Real Organic Cotton Cover Panty Liners. You always need ones. <laughs> so super cute, super nice. I'm super happy with everything I receive. I'm gonna miss the subscription, I'm not gonna lie, but I have a lot of products. I need to use them and be conscious because I have to save money if I don't need all of that. Like, why? Spending that much money. Let's open this. This is the Face Story package. And this is the subscription I have for the skincare. Let's see what they sent. This is the little pamphlet with all of the products that they sent me this month. And I received the te Tetra Force Spot Patch. This is for acne. Whenever you have like little pimples and stuff like that, then you put those patches so they kind of cure. Them, so. I don't suffer from that, but it's always good to have them just in case. These are all the masks I received this month. I received a tiny and lifting care fa facial mask, a soothing mask. This is a hibiscus mask, a Yuha tea mask, a gold probiotic mask, the hyaluronic propolis soothing ampoule mask, and deep miracle ampoule chic mask. We have to do some masking this week. <laughs> Next package, let's open this, which is Elf Cosmetics. And let's see. Elf Cosmetics boxes are weird to open up. This is how the box looks like. <laughs> I ordered a couple of things that I wanted to try from the brand that they released at the beginning of the year from the Mint Collection. And let's start with that. The first thing is the Mint Melt Not Budge Eyeshadow Stick. This is a eyeshadow pen. Let's see how it is. I don't have much space, let's do it here. Whoa, it's very, very nice and pigmented. Look at that. And I don't remember if I own, I think I own one of their eyeshadow sticks and I like it. That's why I ordered this one. I wanted to try it. And this is actually great whenever you're using colors. Color, colors like this are difficult to show up even if you have the lightest skin because of how they are formulated. Sometimes they don't show up very well. So using something like this as a base, like a cream product as a base is it's very nice because it will give you the right pigmentation and it will show off the true color of the eyeshadow. The next thing I ordered was the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in Hot Jalapeno. This, I, this is not part of the mint collection, but I love the color scheme. Let me clean up here so we can swatch. Let's swatch the four colors because, let's see. Ooh, very, very nice. It's swatched very, very cool. 
I love this. I love this color scheme. I've been loving everything green all of this day. I don't know why, but I've been falling in love a lot with all of these green schemes, palettes and all that that are going out. I love it. And this is also part of the mint collection. This is the Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss. The color I chose is a hint of mint. It's going to be just transparent. It's not gonna have any color, just transparent. It's super glossy. Mm, smells like, like those mint uh, caramels, the, the ones that I, are white and red, that are round, um, I don't know their names. Put a picture here, editor. <laughs> mm, smells so good. And the next product, I did grab one of the mini palettes from the mid collection. The one I grabbed is this one, which is the Mean to Be. And they're called Mint Melt Eyeshadow. This is how it looks like. Super cute. And let's swatch all four. Ooh, look at that. You see what I'm talking about? These two colors here are very fainted, the matte ones. But if you see, this one is very, very fainted. So if you use it with, like if you wanna blend it or something in your eyes, not gonna show. But if you use this as a base, it will give you a very, very nice pigmentation. So I love it. I love this. And I love these mini palettes. They are so nice. Like for example, when we start traveling again, this is going to be something for you to travel with very conveniently. So I love this. And the next product I wanted to try are this putty blush. And I saw this on TikTok actually. And everyone loves these blushes. They say that they're super pigmented, they're very, very nice, and they they're leave the skin like glowy and super cute. So let's see, let's see what the hype is about. And the color I grab is Tahiti. Tahiti. <laughs> it's like a whiny pinkish color. Okay. Yeah, it feels very nice, like a balm. You can see it here, and it's very, very glowy. You can see it in the light, so I guess it's gonna show very nice. Let me see. Maybe I can try it out, because I don't have anything on my face. Hmm, not the finest application, <laughs> but they look super cute. They are very pigmented, so nice. So I have to try this when I do an actual <laughs> makeup application, but they look cute. Another product I wanted to try is the Putty Eye Primer, which I have heard also a lot of things about it because people are comparing this product with the MAC Painterly Pot, I think it's called, or Paint Pot, which is the base that everybody uses for eyeshadow. So I'm going to try this definitely to do a look and see how it looks like, but I really, really wanted to grab it. This is how the pot looks like. And the shade I actually got was this, cream. it's called cream, but it's like a beige type of base because it's almost like the same color of my skin. So it's gonna be nice. And the last thing I bought is the brush to use with the putty blush. <laughs> And this is the Putty Blush brush. Yeah, it's called like that, Putty Blush. So let's see how it works. It's like a synthetic brush, very, very cute and small. I love these brushes also to apply skincare. So that is super, super nice. And these two things actually came, oh, I have one more product. But these two things actually came as a gift with the purchase, so I chose the contouring blush and bronzing powder. And this is the shade Saint Lucia. And this is like a peachy blush. And this is the contour shade. This I probably put in the giveaway, which remember guys that I will have a giveaway as soon as I hit the thousand subscribers. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And as soon as I hit the 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be choosing two winners to win that giveaway. Here right now, you're gonna see a little sneak peek of all of the products that I have so far. And that giveaway is juicy, so you don't wanna miss it. Make sure that you are subscribed. And if you are already subscribed, share this video with your friends, your family, so they can subscribe and also participate. And this is a brush, and this is the 
flat eyeliner brush which was also a gift with a purchase and the last product here is actually a little mini size from the Lash It Out Volumizing Mascara the reason why I, I bought it like the mini size is because I have tried other Elves mascaras and for some reason I don't like any of Elves mascaras I don't know why I don't know if it's the brush or the product itself but I haven't really like them so i wasn't sure if this one i would like this is the actually a new one that they uh, released this year so i'm going to be like giving it a try and see if i like it and if i like it and i run out of my mascaras maybe i give it a chance and buy the bigger one that's it with elf so let's open the last packages and the last packages i have here are the boxy charm boxes one is the premium box and one is the Lux box. And the Lux box is the one that comes every three months and it will have a lot of good things inside. So let's open one of them. I don't know which one is which because they're the same size. <laughs> okay, I opened the Lux box first. So this is how it looks like. And the theme is lucky. And I guess it's because St. Patrick's Day is this month. So here's how it looks like and all of the products that are inside. And the first thing I see is the Barbarella eyeshadow palette. This is how it looks like. And let's see inside. Ooh, it's a very nice palette. Very, very cute. I'm not gonna swatch it because I already own this type of palette. So probably I'm gonna put this on the giveaway too. But this is how it looks like. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on the giveaway. And next product or next thing I see is the Sonash Facial Mas Massager. And it reduces puffiness and redness. Let's see. These are, oh, these are, ooh, I like this. It's the Icy Gloves. Oh, this is nice. I have to be careful not to break because they are glass. Okay, I took it off. This is actually glass, so I was super like careful because I didn't want it to break it. And these gloves are actually very nice because you use them to do little massages in your skin like this and under your eyes. And you put them in the fridge, so they will be super, super cool. And you start like doing massages like this. Mm, super super nice i love this i really really want it my husband is like <laughs> i really really wanted to try them out be careful bang bang <laughs> you just wanted to show up in camera that's all okay the next thing i see is this and it's the kiss the star 24k gold lip plumping mask Ooh. oh my god this has actually glitter on it it's glitter no. It has 24K gold shimmer, aloe vera gel, jojoba oil, aloe vera juice, vitamin E, vegan collagen, peppermint flavor, oil, golden biodegradable, <laughs> and, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> glitter stars. Whoa. Oh my God, look at that. Let me see. You can see that. That looks amazing. I'm gonna be trying it out. It has gold in it. Fancy. Maybe we can sell it. <laughs> okay, next product is the Dominique Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner. And the color is Crush. I haven't tried anything from Dominique Cosmetics, so I'm super excited to get this. Ooh, it's a very nice, like, mauve pink color. Super, super cute. Next product is, which I'm super excited to get, is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum from Glow Recipe. I don't know if you guys have seen, also TikTok has this product viral right now. There's actually um, a lot of people posting because they're using this Innisfree Dewy Glow Jelly Cream and this together before applying makeup so your makeup will look super glowy and stuff so i was super excited i will get it in my boxy charm and try it out and do the same mitts that everybody's doing so this is how it looks like it's super cute let me see how it feels wow it's very sticky mm, it smells nice it smells like fresh 
I love the packaging and I'm super excited to try it out and mix it with the Innisfree Dewy Cream which is one of my favorite and it's actually nothing new because that cream is in the market like already for two years or something like that and now it's people talking about and the next uh, product i see is the rose quartz hair mask and it is safe for treated hair extensions and wigs and it's a clean formula it doesn't have any parabens nothing like that it's a hair mask for damaged hair and it will help you soften and make your hair look silky and stuff like that so i have to try it out let's see i love smelling stuff as you can see <laughs> mm, it smells so good mm, smells like perfume i have to try it out my hair is very difficult with masks and stuff so i have to try it out. The next product I see is a Fenty product and it's the Pro Filter Soft Mask Longwear Foundation and I actually chose this for my box and the color I chose which I already have the hydrating formula that they have in the same shade with its 300 and the powder foundation which I did a video about the powder foundation here in my channel is already up so I'm gonna link it here in the description and here in the in the video so you can go and check it out let's see if the matte foundation is gonna be also a right shade for me I have heard that this foundation is actually pretty pretty matte yeah, it's a right shade, you can see it here. I did it. I did a super poor job. It's in here. There you go. Yeah, it's my shade. You can see it there is. It's fine, it's gonna work for me. I have heard that this is a pretty, pretty matte foundation. So I have to make sure that I have prepped my skin with something dewy and moisturizing because I don't like that matte feeling and cakey feeling in my skin at all. Even though I have combination to oily skin, I don't like that sensation. And the last product I see is the Locket Foundation Brush from KVD uh, Beauty. I haven't tried any brushes from the brand, but they look amazing. They look super cute. And it's pretty nice that I got a foundation and I have a foundation brush to try it with. It's super cool. I love brushes anyways. I'm a brushaholic, I always say that. So, ooh, it feels very, very nice and it's super, super cute. I love the handle, like super nice. Beautiful, beautiful brush. Definitely will give it a try, of course. And I love the packaging. I love like black packaging because it looks super elegant. When it comes to uh, cosmetics, I feel like black is the best color because it looks very elegant and sleek. Even if it's a cheap product, it looks nice. And for the Lutz bots, actually you pay $50, I think, or 55. So it's still worth it because all of the products that you got on that box is more than $50, of course. And this box is going to be then the premium box. Which is this one, yes. And you can see here, ooh, it's the same card with all the products in here. And this is how it looks like inside with all of the products with the premium. And the first thing I see is the Kypris Illumination and Active Shimmer. It's an eye serum and primer. Okay, this is the Illuminating Eye Serum and Primer. And I'm a little confused because I think it's like a shimmer. Okay, it's a shimmer palette for active illumination for eyes and body. And this is an eye serum and primer. Illuminating eye serum and primer. So I guess you can put this in your eyes and apply this and it will serve as a eye primer, I guess. And this is going to be for eyes and body. I guess you can use this uh, also as highlighters. So let's swatch some of them because I'm super curious. I'm swatching Sun Glitter, which is the center one, the Diamond Free, which is the white one, and let's swatch this one, Gold Aura. They look pretty shiny. Yeah, these are definitely more like toppers type of products that will serve you a, as highlighters, but they're cute, they're super nice. Wow, they look amazing on camera and in person too. They're a little bit glittery, 
They probably, if you use them as a highlighter, they're gonna give you a little texture, but they're nice. It's a cool concept. And this is the serum. Let me smell it as always. It doesn't smell like anything. It's very thick. It's super thick. Let me show you here. But it has that serum consistency. Very, very nice. It, look, it, it feels very silky and smooth. I'm super curious on how this is going to work because when it is drying, it starts feeling sticky. Cool product. Next thing I see is the Beauty Diva London Diva Eyeshadow Brush Set. And this is how it looks like. I'm gonna put this on the giveaway because I have received so many brushes and I need to stop. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on the giveaway so you guys can enjoy it. Next product is the Rowan Kiss Mine. Kiss Mine, Kiss Mine. <laughs> That's what you Kiss Mine. <laughs> and it's the liquid lip balm. Another lip balm. Remember that in, in the last haul, I told you guys that I have received like so many lip balms from them and now I have another one. Another one. This one is cute. It looks more like a lip gloss than a lip balm. Let's do it here. No, it's like very light. It's like the Rare Beauty uh, glosses that there are more like lip balms than glosses itself. But it's super nice is this one here. You can see it there. Next product is the Oh, I wanted to get this product. It's the Essential Lip Enhancer from Jower Cosmetics. I have, I don't know if you guys uh, follow this girl called Michaela on TikTok. She always used this product uh, before applying any lip product, like any lip color. And it looks super nice. It's like a lip plumper, but more into the soothing and moisturizing type of lip product. It's like a lip balm. <laughs> so this is what it looks like and then, oh, I have two more products. I have the Becca Ultimate 24 Hour Foundation. Mm, cool. The shade is Olive. I actually received this foundation before from them. I already own one of them, but I don't know if it's the same shade. No, the shade I had is Bamboo, the one that I received before. And now I received Olive. Olive is a little bit more into a neutral medium shade like a medium beige or medium tan it has like a green undertone to it but it's not definitely my shade it's too light you guys are not gonna see it there <laughs> but it's it's a little too light for me but this one actually is a little darker so maybe if i mix the two i will have the correct shade for me so nice that i received i actually like this foundation even though it's very matte is a foundation that you can mix with maybe a more moisturizing product and it's gonna give you a beautiful finish which i'm super not super surprised that i got another foundation and i'm actually super happy that i got that one i'm very sad that becca is gonna close but those are the things that this pandemic did with a lot of companies and i'm super sad about becca but i understand because they they don't have anything interesting going on with the brand in a few years already. So it's normal. Nobody was talking about Becca anymore. Nobody was actually buying anything from Becca anymore. And the last product I received is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Actually, I chose this product for my premium because I have never tried this primer and a lot of people love this primer, especially if they have combination skin like I do. And I wanted to try it out even though I don't believe much in primers, I still wanted to try it out and see what's the hype about. And since I have to choose something for the butts, for Buttsy Charm, I chose this product. It feels very nice. It feels very moisturizing. Maybe I'm gonna like it because I like these primers that don't feel super silicone-y. And this one feels very, very nice. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a try and let you guys know if I like it or not on my social media. So make sure that you follow me there. Okay, so now you're gonna see the total value of the bots with all the products here that were listed and that we received. Remember that the premium bots is at $35 bots and everything that you receive in the bots is actually more than $30, $35. So that's a bargain for me. <laughs> and we received good products this month. So that's it, that's all. I received from this clip. So let's move to the future for Nets unboxing.
Hi, welcome to the second clip of the haul. Let's start. And the first package we're gonna be opening today is coming from Cosas Cosmetics. I actually ordered a couple of things that I wanted to try from the brand because they had a sale on the bundles. They created new bundles with uh, complexion products. And I wanted to try the complexion products because I already tried and it came in my boxy charm the tainted oil foundation that they have. So one of the bundles that I actually bought was one of them with the foundation. So this foundation is amazing because whenever you feel that your skin is a little bit dry or if you want to use or wear like very minimal foundation but you want your skin to look super fresh and dewy, this foundation is going to be amazing for you. The shade I am is six and I wanted a second one because the one that I have is not that it's running out but it's good to have Second one. <laughs> and since it came in the bundle with other stuff that I wanted to try anyways, so why not? And the other thing that was in the bundle that I have heard amazing things about is the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. And this one, I got the shade 6.5. I hope it's the right shade. Yeah, it's gonna be good because I like my concealers to be a little bit lighter than my actual foundation. So you can see there, yeah, it's gonna be right for me. You can see here, next to my cheek. Yeah, it's gonna be a good match. On the same bundle, they were including also the baked setting and smoothing powder. And this one, I got the shade Sheer Golden Medium, and it's and it's called Cushiony. This is supposed to also be super lightweight and set your foundation a super nice. Wow, it looks amazing. Look at that. And let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be perfect because I also like my setting uh, powder to be a little bit lighter because I like to set only the center of my face. And whenever I, I wear the same shade as, as my skin color, sometimes it tends to be too dark for me to use in the center of the face, mainly in the under eye area. So this is going to be a great shade. So I'm super happy that I nailed the shades because I, I'm always concerned whenever I buy makeup online with the shades, especially concealers, foundation and all that because that's difficult to choose because sometimes depending on the brand, they don't have like great pictures for you to see how the foundation looks or the actual color of the foundation. So yeah. And the last product I got from Cosense is the Moisturizing Big Browser and the shade I got it is medium golden browns. And this is how it looks like. Wow, it has like a shiny tint to it, but it's not gonna be like shimmery or nothing like that. You can see there. It's gonna be perfect for me because it's, it's that shade that has a hint of red to it, but it's very subtle. And it's gonna be nice because I always like my bronzer to give me the sense like I am tan mostly, not exactly to contour my face, but to give me some color. So I love it. And it has that tiny sheen to it that makes the skin look, I don't know if you can see the sheen there, but makes the skin look super healthy. Very, very nice. I love this. Okay, I'm super excited to try everything out. For sure, I'm gonna be doing something for my social media with this because I really, really wanna try everything together. So make sure that you're following with me. I'm gonna leave my social media accounts here. One is my personal and one is my professional. Next package is coming from M Cosmetics. I actually bought this because of Katie Hughes because she was actually using this product in one of her stories. She was doing like a makeup look and was super nice, like how it looked in her skin. So I ran and get it. And these are, I'm gonna tell you now. M Cosmetics is actually the brand. I don't know if you guys know this girl. She was one of the OG beauty influencers from YouTube. Her name is Michelle Pan and she created this brand and, and it's amazing. Like all of the products look so nice. And I got this bundle and I think the bundle is called 
the Verona bundle or something like that. It doesn't say here, but it had two of the blushes. One is liquid and one is the powder blush. And it has also a lip product. So let's open it up. Okay, let's play with the serum blush. This is in the shade Venetian Rose. No, Venetian Rose, I'm sorry, Rose. <laughs> And I think the bundle is called Venetian Bundle because all of the shades are from the same collection, the Venetian collection. And this is how it looks like. It looks like a nail polish um, bottle. And let's see. Ooh, super nice. Wow, look at the pigmentation. You can see it there. It's super pigmented and the finish is super dewy so it's going to look super natural if you want to wear it by itself or even on top of makeup i wouldn't recommend you to set your makeup if you want to use this because it's very emollient so it probably will mess up your powder if you powder your face first so make sure that you put it before setting the next thing is the heaven's glow radiant bell blush and this is the same shade venetian yeah, Venetian Rose is the same. This is the little component. And wow, it's amazing. It's kind of a mauve rose. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. And a lot of people don't like blushes that have a little sheen to it, but I love it because I think those blushes look more natural than the blushes that are completely matte when it comes to powder. Because matte liquid uh, blushes are actually nice, but when they are in powder version, I like for them to have a little sheen to it, like not exaggerating with it, but like this one, it's amazing because it's going to give you that glow and whenever I use those type of blushes, sometimes I don't use highlighter because I don't need to. So that's a good thing about it. So you use less product. And the last product is the Lip Cushion Tinted Lip Luminizer. And it's the same shade, Venetian Rose. And let's see, this is the component. No, it doesn't have a smell. Wow, super, super creamy and shiny. Beautiful. Let's see, let me try it out. Wow, very, very nice. I love the color and the finish is super, super nice. Beautiful, I'm super excited to try all of this out. It looks amazing. And these products, like her brand is amazing. I knew that it would be good. The next package is coming from Lights Lacquer. And I wanted to get the latest collection because I'm into all of the colors. Finally, I got to grab a collection whenever they release it because sometimes when she released like the full bundle of the collection, people buy it right away and you don't get to get it. <laughs> I never get to get it. So this is how it comes. It's called It Was All A Dream. And let's see how it looks like inside. Oh, super cute. Look at this. So this is like the little card with all of the shades. And this is how the package looks like. Amazing. It's beautiful. So the shades name are Marie, one of your French girls, 99% Angel, Secret Garden, Let Them Eat Cake, and Lilac Wine. And I love because, of course, I'm always obsessed about lilac because of my favorite color. But I love all of the shades. Like, for example, this one and this one are that formula that she created that is transparent. So when you, when you apply it in your nails, it's going to have like a transparency on it. So if you want to do French tips or you want to draw something in your nails or something like that, it's going to look amazing. And I really wanted to try that formula. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm going to be doing my nails and maybe showing you guys on my social media. And the next bundle I got was the bestseller colors that she had on her brand. One of them is the name. So it's this beautiful like reddish pinkish color and it's called Venus. So it's like a shimmery red with golden like glitter on it or shimmer, it's not glitter, it's like a shimmer in gold. 
the next one is this beautiful green and the name is now and later and the last one is which this one is my favorite of the three the one that i wanted to try the most and it's called cold turkey and it's this beautiful blue i call this like an old blue because it's that weird blue with a hint of green and gray <laughs> you can see like all that in here so yeah i wanted to try all of those shades and i'm super excited to do my nails now i don't I don't have my nails done so I'm gonna be doing my nails after this video for sure and trying all that out okay next package is coming from Artist Couture as a celebration of the birthday of the first eyeshadow palette from the company they released a bundle including the new eyeshadow palette and that one the nudes palette which was the very first eyeshadow palette from the company and i really wanted to get those two and it was good timing because the bundle was amazing and an amazing price and this is how the package looks like inside and these are the two eyeshadow palettes so let's open the nude one because I know that you guys probably have seen this already. This is not a new palette and this is called the Supreme Nudes. This is how the palette looks like inside. It's a little bit powdery. But you can see the shades there. Let, let's swatch some of them because this is actually the first time I see the palette. I haven't been able to see anybody using it or nothing like that. So let's see, let's play with it. Ooh wow wow look at those shades beautiful and this is a perfect palette if you are a person that loves neutrals and neutral makeup this is the perfect palette for everyday looks for those smoky brown smoky moments for you to use every day so this is great this is beautiful and the formula is very very nice yeah i'm super excited to try it out and this is the new one that they released is the ethereal bloom this is the packaging and this is the palette inside i love this packaging like the colors it's beautiful and look at that i'm so into this type of colors lately i don't know why but i love when an eyeshadow palette have those colors i really want to buy it so let's try those wow oh yeah beautiful these are the three from the ethereal bloom palette so definitely i'm gonna be doing something for my social media whenever this eye wants to get better i'm going to be <laughs> doing something because this eye is driving me crazy i don't know why it doesn't get better okay next package is actually something i'm super excited about and it's coming from beautylish and in here is the new palette from Natasha Denona. Oh my God, this is super fancy. Look at this. A butt in a butt. <laughs> okay, let's open the first one. I'm excited, but not as excited as the Natasha Denona one. <laughs> so let's open that one. And I actually wanted to try the Black Sugar palette from Jeffree Star, but I didn't really want it to pay that amount of money because basically the colors that I wanted to get were more the red ones. And that palette, it has a lot of neutral colors. I was like, whoa, but I want like, I want the palette because of the red. And he actually created the mini one, the Black Sugar Mini and it was perfect because it has all the shades that I actually wanted to try. So this is the packaging inside with Mr. Jeffrey there. Hi, And are these you? are the shades. Actually, these are all the shades that I wanted to try, like this one in here. And, and the middle one is a new shade that he created only for the mini palette. So let's try that one and let's play with the red. That one, the new one is called Wisdom. The red one is called Cherry Soda. And I'm gonna try, let's try Sugar Cane, which is like a very light nude color. So this is Cherry Soda. This is Wisdom. Wow. And this is going to be the nude color one. Wow, they're very nice. 
Well, Jeffrey's formula is very nice. It's a very good formula. He, I don't know what he does or who he works with, but his formula, I think is one of the best ones in the market when it comes to eyeshadow. I wanna say when it comes to eyeshadows from maybe indie brands or stuff like that, there's a lot of other brands that have great formulas where his is very consistent. Because the thing is that sometimes other brands have great formulas, but they're not cons consistent with all of the shadows being the same quality. And the next product I got was one of the glosses that he also released not too long ago. And it's called, they're called Supreme Glosses. And the one I bought was Celebrity Skin. This is one of the best sellers from his brand in the lips, liquid lipstick formula. But I don't like liquid lipsticks. I feel that they're very drying. I don't like, no, because of the brand, nothing. No, I don't like any liquid lipstick. So it's good timing because he created it in the gloss formula and I was like okay I need to get that shade and I need to see why people love it so much and I can say it's a pretty nice cool tone it's like a cool tone nude color and it has like a lilac or purplish undertone to it so it's super nice if it's here and it's very very nice and the formula feels like a very glossy lipstick it's creamy it's not like super glossy but it's super creamy at the same time i don't know how to explain it but it feels very very nice and a lot of people were saying that this <laughs> that the gloss applicator looks like a prana women <laughs> It's, a, it's an interesting applicator, but the formula, I like it. And I like that it's not like super glossy because sometimes you just wanna wear something that has a hint of color and maybe a little gloss to it, but not too up there. It's nice, I like it. And I like the color. I can see why people like it a lot. And the last product is finally the Natasha Denona palette. And this is called Circo Loco. And I love it because it's, it's like a perfect palette for a person that loves color like me. So the packaging is like this and it's the same as the palette. So I'm super excited and I love like the light blue and the all the purple and mint and all that. And look at this. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I love it. Let's try the shades. Flip. I'm going to try the shade Russell Dazzle Grind and Electric. So this is Russell Dazzle. This is Flip Grind and Electric. Wow. <gasps> Look at those shades. All of them are shimmer. Let's try some of the matte formulas too. Let's see if I can do something here. Let's try Joker, Magic and Firework. So this is Joker. Wow, look at that. Magic and Firework. Wow, <gasps> they are gorgeous. Oh my God, I'm super excited to try all of them out and do a crazy look with it. This is a palette that is not gonna be for everyone. You need to like color or you have to like a lot of color and color makeup and be creative and all that in order to enjoy this palette because this is not a palette that you're gonna reach for every day. This is not a palette for everyone, basically. So for me, it's beautiful. This is definitely one of my favorite ones, definitely. <laughs> so I was super excited to get it. When I saw it on her Instagram, I was like, okay, I'm sold. That's it. Okay, next package is coming from Urban Decay. And they have actually a 30% off, I think it was friends and family weekend or something like that. I took advantage because I really wanted to try their 24 seven pencil. And I also wanted to get one of the palettes that I, that I couldn't get last time because it was always sold out. So let's start with the palette. The palette is the Naked 
ultraviolet palette. This is not a new palette. I think they released it last year or the year before. And I really, really love it because it's my favorite color. <laughs> and it's all purples and neutral colors. So here it is, here, this is how it looks like. I really like it. I don't know why people, some people like it, some people hate it, but I don't know, I, I like it. And the swatch, purple dust, wow euphoric and let's swatch this matte lavender color called optimize so this is purple dust wow this is beautiful this is euphoric and optimize i actually like it i love those shades you can see there like well in person it looks like kind of a holographic, the euphoric one, the second. But on the camera, the camera is not getting like the blue shift that I see in person. But it's a very, very nice palette. And I really love the color story. Um, I'm gonna try this one because it's getting my attention loosely. Wow, this one is beautiful. <gasps> wow. That one is, it has the same shift, like mint and white shift. Wow. I'm super excited with this one. And I got three of the 24-7 pencils. Probably I will be putting them in my professional kit, but I still wanna see how they are. So let's see. Maybe I'm gonna keep this one, the blue one, because I got a brown one, a black one, and this blue. So the blue one is called Chaos, and it's this beautiful royal blue. Very, very nice. They're very creamy. I like that. The next one is called Bourbon. And this one I think has some glitter on it, which is not really one of what I wanted, but I guess I didn't realize it has glitter. Oh, but it's not that, yeah, it's not that bad. It's the second one in here. And it's a brown with a hint of shimmery golden glitters or shimmers. <laughs> but it's not that bad. It's not going to be too shimmery. It's more matte than shimmer. And this is the black one. The black one is called Perversion. Perversion. <laughs> and this is, it looks like it's just black, but it's very, very black. And what I like is they feel super creamy. So they're not difficult to use. Like if you want to draw the line and work very fast to smudge, it's going to give you a chance to do that. And they sent me also to samples and one of them is actually one of the 24 7 pencils but in another shade let's see oh but this one is for lips these are not for your eyes and the shade is it says 714 i guess that's the shade and it's a beautiful red mm. wow are you open this okay <laughs> Very, very nice. It's, it's a warm tone red. You can see it there. It's cute. And they sent the Vice lipstick. And I think this one is also a red one in Bok Talk. Oh no, it's like a pinky, pinky nude, which is weird. Why are they gonna send you the lip? Here, here is the lipstick. They're gonna send you the lip pencil in red and the other thing in pink. It's a mechanism. Oh yeah, thank you, I guess. <laughs> and that's it, that's all I got from Urban Decay. The next package is coming from Colourpop. And I actually have two packages from Colourpop, so let's open the first one. And the first one is with, okay, this package has a couple of eyeshadow palettes, the nine pan eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to get. These are not new, but I wanted to get those. And I actually bought two Chic Do's serum blushes and the blush shades I got are and rumors. <laughs> Let's see how they are. These are supposed to be very balm uh, type of um, blushes and they're gonna give you a super dewy finish and supposed to be very emollient and pigmented. So let's see. This is Rumors and this is how it looks like here. Wow, I think I applied too much. <laughs> but it's a very deep red shade. It has a hint of orange to it, but very nice. It does feel very emollient, but I don't see them being too pigmented. The more you wore them out, the more they start to like 
if you see here, it was super pigmented and now it's not that much. Hopefully they don't like move around during the day because when it's a very balmy type of formula, sometimes that happens. You start like, if, if you, for example, are using a napkin or you use your hands like this or whatever, they start moving and rubbing off. So yeah, I like that shape. It's beautiful. And let's see the next one, which is and this is more like a mauve pink shade, which is interesting is, well, this one is very different. You can see the packaging is giving me like more of an orange type of blush, I would say. But when you see the blush, it's more like red than orange. And the same thing with this packaging. This packaging gives me like, like I will get a coral, a corally type of shade. And look at this, this is like a mauve pink shade. So the packaging doesn't go with the shades, I guess, which I found, I find very interesting. And let's see this one. I'm gonna apply less because the other one, I think I applied too much. Yeah, this one doesn't even show much. Let me apply a lot like I did before. So you can see like the actual color. This is the shade here. Yeah. So it's a nice shade but I was expecting to be more coral, like the box, not like this, but it's fine. I'm going to be trying them out and see how they wear actually, because that's the most important thing that they were fine. Okay, the next thing is these two, which I don't own. And these are the Big Poppy Nine Shade Eyeshadow Palettes, and that's Toe Palette. And this is a cool tone palette, and this is an all orange palette and i think it doesn't have any shimmers to it i think it's all matte yes it's an all matte orangey shade but these oranges are more into like burnt orange so let's try them out because i actually enjoy a lot the one that they released i think that it was a, the sunflower collection that they released that it was an all matte sh uh, palette Actually, the yellows there were actually like burnt yellow. So it was like mustard yellows and stuff like that. Super, super nice. So let's try this one. And I'm gonna get, dig it, <laughs> get around, and Kali Love. Let's try those three. So this is dig it, get around. Wow, that's beautiful. And Kali Love, this three. Wow, they're super gorgeous. And the good thing about having a palette like this is that if you want to do a look that you want the look to be all matte and that's it, but you have like a specific colors that you want to get into the look, with a palette like this, you can do so many things because this is also very neutral. So you can do a look for daytime and it's going to be very, very nice because these shades here will give you that chance to do something very neutral, very everyday. And matte shades are always great to have in your collection. So I really, really like this palette and I love the color story. And this one is also a very nice palette for every day. I do have the big palette they release, Cold Fox, I think it's called, something like that. I actually have a video comparing that one with one of the Natasha Denonas uh, because they were saying that they were dupes to each other. So I'm gonna list that video in here. And I created a look using both of the palettes. And that palette is very nice because it has a bunch of gray cool tones shades. And this one is actually also a cool tone palette. But I think this one is very different than that one because this one is more when you want to get deeper shades or deeper eye looks. So this is going to be great for you. And let's swatch some of the shades. Let's try this one, Constrictor. Wow, this is beautiful. Cold-blooded and Python. And let's see how they look. Wow. Yes, definitely this is more a, a nice shadow palette that you want to use to create very glam, but soft, cool tone looks. Very, very nice. And I love this night palette because they're super travel friendly. Or even if you are not a person that travels a lot, sometimes it's easier to store these palettes than the big ones. So I love 
those nine palettes that ColourPop release all the time. And the last two I got also that I wanted to try is the Coral to Coast. This is also an orangey type of palette, but this one is more like neon colors and it also has shimmers. And I it, I think it's a beautiful palette to, to have. Let's swatch some of these colors. I'm going to try the one called Animal Diver and Keep Swimming. This is Keep Swimming, Animal, and diver wow diver is beautiful gorgeous and this one in the middle is super nice because it, on camera it doesn't look that shiny look, not shiny like saturated but in person it looks very very like neon and the last palette is baby got peach this is also more of a pastel type of orangey skin all of the ones that i got were orange <laughs> but this one is very very different it's more pastel and those baby pinks and pastel oranges shades so let's try this one get even center fold and ready to yacht so ready to yacht this is the first one get even and center fold wow gorgeous beautiful i love this i love i don't know how colourpop does but the quality of their shadows and the price of the products is amazing. How they can now have such a quality of products in such a small price range. The next package from ColourPop is... I know what it is. They did a secret restock of the blushes from the Valentine collection and also the palette, the Hocus Pocus palette. And I grabbed it right away because I really wanted those. So the blush that I really wanted from the Valentine collection was this one, the red one. And it's called Love Me Not or Love Me Not. <laughs> and look at this beautiful packaging. This is a heart. And it feels so nice, super, super cool. And it's like a reddish matte blush. This is how it looks like inside. Let's swatch it. It's very subtle. I thought it would be more pigmented, but it's a very subtle red blush. Super, like a cherry type of blush. And I just love the packaging. I mean, they have me with the packaging. Even if the product, I didn't like the product, I love the packaging. So I will get it just for the packaging. The Hocus Pocus palette, which was the only thing that I wanted from that collection. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe that people grab because they will go so fast. Like they will do the restock and say it on the Instagram and 20 minutes later, you wouldn't have anything. You wouldn't find the palette anymore. So this is how the packaging is. This is the box and this is the packaging of the palette. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Look at that color scheme, beautiful. Let's try some of the shades. It looks like it, the palette is burnt on the, because it's like a book. I guess it's the, um, from the movie, the book. How was, how was it called, the book on the movie? Never mind. <laughs> if I find the name, I put it here. <laughs> so let's try this firm. Trackery, Bint, and Goodbye Cruel World. Mm, I don't have space, let's do it here. So this is Trackery, Bint. This is Trackery, Bint. It's firm. And Goodbye Cruel World. Wow. Hey, I love it. I'm super excited because I do love this color scheme because you can do like super dark, smoky, glam looks with it. And it's super gorgeous. Like I love the packaging and everything. I really like the movie too. So I was like, yeah, I need to get at least one thing from the collection. And that one and the only thing that I wanted to get was this. <laughs> so once I saw that they sent me an email, like they had a secret restock, I just grabbed it right away. Yay, I'm super excited. And last package is coming from Elle. And this is actually the new and limited edition Chipotle collection. But I only grabbed the palette, I think, and one more thing, I don't remember. But let's see. Elf boxes are 
horrible to open. We need a tutorial from somebody from Elf how to open their packages. <laughs> Let me take everything out. They always send you like samples and stuff with your purchase. And this is the palette. Super cool. This is the Elf by Chipotle eyeshadow palette. And this is how everything looks like. I have seen a lot of people already reviewing it and everything. And everybody loves like the quality of all of the shadows. So that's why I wanted to grab it because I, I really enjoy their eyeshadow palette. But with e.l.f. it's always like a hit and miss because sometimes they are good, sometimes they're not that good. But this one, everybody is saying that the quality is amazing. So let's see. Let's try it. I'm gonna keep swatching in this part. <laughs> let's swatch guac, lettuce. Wow, it does look good. And mild salsa. Mild salsa has like a shimmery, glittery thing. This is mild salsa, guac, and this is lettuce. Wow, they swatch very, very nice. They feel very creamy, very good. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing something with this palette, definitely. The other product I, I ordered so I could get free shipping, basically, <laughs> is the Not Budge Shadow Stick in Blue Steel. And this is like a grayish blue shimmery shade. This is how it looks like in here. You can see it there. Very nice, very cool. Ah, and I also bought this brush. This is the Potty Flush brush and I actually got another one of this because I like to keep this in my kit right now with the with the pandemic I'm trying not to touch uh, the face of uh, the person that I'm working with much so I'm doing everything with brushes and these type of brushes I like to use them to apply all of the skincare so for example all all the moisturizers if I use any primer if I use any serums and stuff like that I like to apply with this type of brushes so I already have one of these which I opened in previous clip and I just ordered a new one to have as a second, like a backup. And these two are two of the samples that came with the package. And this is the clay eyeshadow palette in Necessary Nudes. And this is one of the eye brushes. And I think it's the, it's a crisp brush. And that's it guys, this is it for this unboxing. So let's move to the future for next unboxing. Okay, let's start with the first package. And the first package is actually coming from Amazon. I was watching the other day a video from Martin Catalogne, which is a Peruvian makeup artist that I like. And he was recommending a lip tint that I tried to find in other stores, but the only, <laughs> the only place that I found it was Amazon. And it's from a Korean uh, brand. It's called Fairy Vera, and they are all. But they're supposed to be uh, those kind of things that you apply to your lips, and they last like all day. Even though um, maybe you are eating or stuff like that, the tint they, they leave like a color in your lips. So uh, that color will last all day long. I actually wanted to try the colors that he recommended, plus one that's new, and I have them here. Let's open this one that was already open. <laughs> And this one is the number two, and it's called, let me see. Well, the name is, is in Chinese or Korean, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, here. It's called Celeb Deep Rose. And let's try it in here. I'm gonna put it in my hand because I don't wanna apply it up to my lips. And then, I don't know. I don't know how they work. I don't know how much they last. So this is like a orangey type of red, which is super nice. It feels very soft. And actually he was saying that these are not like the typical liquid lipsticks that will dry up your lips. And you can actually like wear just a tiny bit of the color and then uh, apply some lip gloss and still it's going to look amazing. And this second one I ordered is the red only, number three. 
And this one is more of a deep true red, which is also another color that I enjoy a lot. They feel amazing. They feel super, super creamy. And this is, yeah, like a true red with, I would say more of a blue or cold undertone. The third one is number 15. And these are the two from the new shades that they uh, released. And this is the Beauty Peak Rose. This is like a coral type of red or orange. <laughs> yeah, it's like a very, very corally orange. So the corals generally have more of a pinkish undertone than a red. This one is, looks amazing. It, it's going to be perfect for now for springtime. And last one is the Ink Airy Velvet. These three are the regular velvet ink. And this one is called Ink Airy Velvet. And the color I got is Selfie Orange Brown. This is supposed to be more of a true nude type of orange let's see yeah this one feels different so i guess it's going to give you that finish that it's like um more of a very blended type of color like when you eat a lollipop like a red lollipop and the stain stay in your lips it's going to give you that that kind of finish so yeah, I'm super excited to try them out. And actually, I love that because I can use it with my clients. With sometimes when I'm doing like beach looks and stuff like that, what they want is just like a touch of color and not too deep or nothing like that. And maybe emphasize the, the model's uh, color in their lips. So this type of inks work perfectly because when they are shooting and stuff like that sometimes whatever I put in their lips gets removed very quickly and they are always like like you know drinking something drinking water or whatever and so they remove lipstick very quick so this is going to last longer and it's going to be better for me so I don't have to be retouching and retouching so next uh, package is coming from I think this is Kat Von D yeah this is Kat Von D I actually ordered the new foundation and they had these bundles that for me were like super nice because you can get different products in the same bundle. You will pay like 40% off from, if you buy them separately, it will be more money. And, and the bundle was included already the foundation. So you get a foundation, you get a blush, you get one of these dazzle stick shadows and a mini mascara. So let's open it up. Let's start with the foundation because that's the most exciting thing on the bundle. And the shade I ordered, I think it's a little too dark for me, but it's fine because I didn't know how they wear. And I saw like a lot of people getting actually supposedly their, their shades, but they look super pale. So I was like, I don't know if maybe this foundation is a little, sometimes some foundations are formulated and the shade tends to be a little lighter than your skin when you apply them. So the shade I got is tan, which is, number 60 and let's see if this one is in shade it looks dark but let me swatch it in here wow it look it feels super super creamy it doesn't look too too dark but my arms have a different color than my face let's see when i wear it i let you guys know but as of now it looks like it's going to work but it feels super super creamy and super light Hopefully it works nice for me because I have combination skin. So let's see, let's see. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be trying this out and posting it on my social media. So make sure that you follow me there. The next product is the Everlasting Blush and the shade I got is Poppy, which is more of a orangey type of shade. And on, on camera, it's, it looks like coral, but on person, it's more like orange with a pinky undertone. Wow, it's super pigmented, so I guess I have to be careful with it. But that's the shade there. I'm super excited because it's been a long time that I haven't tried anything from the brand. So this was my opportunity now that they released this foundation and everybody's talking about the foundation. And the mascara is the Go Big or Go Home mascara. It's a mini version of the mascara. This is how it looks like. Let's see the brush, how it is. Ooh, it's a type of brush I love. Look at that. 
I love these chunky brushes because I know they're gonna give me a lot of volume because my, my lashes, I, I can care less about the length. I love mascaras that give me volume because I don't have a lot of volume in my lashes. And I got another foundation brush. Remember that I got one in my Botsy Charm this month. So I got a second one, which I'm going to put in my professional kit because I always, I have to have like different foundation brushes. I'm always short on front foundation brushes. And the Dazzle Stick, remember that on my previous monthly haul, I had the Tremble boxes, the whole drama, the whole mess with Tremble, which if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna put it here in the video. And I got actually two of them. Thank God they weren't repeated. And in this bundle, I had the opportunity to choose another one, another shade. So I chose this one that's called Thunder Cloud, which is supposed to be like a grayish with a lavender undertone. Let me see. Yes, beautiful. I love, love, love these sticks. They're super shiny and very, very long lasting. I did a, um, I actually did a look and I posted on my Instagram using one of them, one of the sticks. Beautiful. And I got actually two gifts. No, actually, sorry. This was part of the bundle too, which is the tattoo liner, waterproof liquid liner, and the shade I got is Matte Max Brown. This one I had the opportunity to try already through Botsy Charm. I have the black one and I really enjoy it. And now I got the, the brown one, which is a very nice dark brown. Super cool. I'm gonna be for real using this for sure. And I got these two samples. One of them is a liquid liner. The liquid liner is called Outlaw and it's this beautiful red. I'm not gonna open it because it's a red lipstick. And the samples of the True Portrait. I think this is a concealer. Oh, foundation. It's another foundation. So that's it with KBD Beauty now. It's not Kat Von D anymore. The next package is coming from Ulta. And this is, I'm excited about this one actually. These are actually the Jacqueline Hills new products. And this is the Bronze and Blush Duo. This is a compact powder duo. And the shades I wanted, but they sold out super quick, even on Ulta. So I was the other day like, let me see if maybe they became available again. Let me just double check and they did. So that I wanted the Stay Rosy and Yummy Toffee shade, which is more for medium to tan skin colors. And this is how the package looks like. It's beautiful. It looks super, super high end. It's very heavy. It feels heavy on the hands. And these are the shades. Oh my God, they look gorgeous. Let me see if we can swatch some of them. Well, some of them. It's too obvious. <laughs> Let me see if we can, if we can uh, swatch both of them. And again, this is Stay Rosy and Jummy Toffee. I'm a little worried about the bronzer i thought it would be a little darker but it's actually pretty light maybe if i go and you know work it out it will actually become a little bit deeper let's see but it feels super super buttery and i thought that they will be uh, they will have a little shimmer to it but not not at all and they're not completely matte but they're not completely shiny so they have that like natural finish which i love the other things i got was one of the new shades for the highlighter and the shade is go for gold it's a beautiful gold highlighter this is the package i love the packaging it's beautiful and this is the shade here inside oh my god it looks amazing Woo, look at that my god Jacqueline is a master for the highlighters. She knows what she's doing with the highlighters. I mean, this is amazing. This is beautiful. And this packaging is gorgeous. Beautiful. I'm super excited. Oh my God. I'm super excited about this. And the last one, which I didn't have the opportunity to try when she first released this. And these are the mini highlighters. I think these are a little bit more like pigmented. I'm not sure, maybe not. <laughs> and the shade I had is 
I got is ice. And it's this beautiful golden, rose gold type of highlighter. Wow, look at this. Beautiful, gorgeous. I love how they feel. They feel super, super buttery to the touch. Super, super nice. I'm super excited. I'm going to be definitely trying them out and letting you guys know how that works. Next package is coming from Alamar. And I wanted to actually try the new blushes they released. They actually released these blushes last year, but I didn't have the chance to buy them last year. And I wanted to get also the birthday suit lip gloss and lip liner bundle. So this is the Desnudes Longwear Lip Gloss and this is on birthday suit. Let's see. They actually released a new packaging too, so it's looking like this is not brown anymore. And this one is like a pink type of lip gloss with a little bit of shine to it. Oh my God, it looks beautiful, amazing. And the, the shiny, like the glitter is very minimal, but you can see like how the finish is super glossy and shiny. And this is also the birthday suit lip liner. I don't own a lip liner this shade. That's why I wanted to get, this is more of a cool tone, rosy type of uh, lip liner, which I don't own something like this, or I, I, I think I don't, maybe I am. But I think I don't have any. So that's why I wanted to try them. And these are actually one of the best sellers from the brand. So I wanted to try them out. And they also repackaged the two face products that they have right now in the line, which are the bronzer and these are new shades for the blushes. Both of them are for medium tan skin. And the shades on the blushes are Peach Beach, Fruta Bomba, and Dulce Sueños. Let's see. This is the packaging inside, which is the same as the butts. I love the color, it's beautiful. And these are the shades here. I love this, this shade over here, which is Fruta Bomba. It's like a pink with a hint of peach undertone. Let's see. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is going to be my favorite shade. Let's try Peach Beach, which is more of a true peach type of blush. And Dulce Sueños is more of a mauve type of blush with a hint of shimmer, which is very, very nice. And these are actually the same formula and the same colors. This is the medium to tan skin color. And the only thing that they do uh, was to repackage the product, but the product is the same, which I already own and have shown here in my channel. Here it is, and this is for medium skin tone, medium to tan skin tone. So that's it. That's it for Alamar. That's all I got. The next package is coming from, I think this is coming from Makeup by Mario. Yes, coming from them. You can come here. This is the package here. This is nice, but this is annoying too because it creates a whole mess when you're trying to reach for the products. But I understand it also works to make sure that the product doesn't get all broken. So it protects the product inside, but it's a mess. Let me just make sure that I got everything, yeah. <laughs> The first thing we see here is the Master Metal uh, palette. And this palette is the one that he created that you can use with a solution, like the solution that he created, or the Maron, I don't remember the name, oh my God. Meets in Medium, the Maron Meets in Medium. And I really wanted to get this palette so bad. So I decided to buy it because this one you can use by itself, like dry, and you can use the mids and medium also, and they will have this foil effect and give you the most amazing finish. So let's try one without the mids and medium so you guys can see. So the one I'm swatching right now is this one, the last one, which the name is Rose Gold. And let's do it here. So you can see there, it's super shiny, perfect. 
And let's do the mixing medium now. This is the one that he created, which is the same as the Merum. So if you wanna get the Merum, you can get that one. Instead of this one, it's the same thing. And here is the little spatula to get a little bit of the color from the palette. And then apply just a tiny drop of the mixing medium. You mix it here, because you, you have a little space there that he created there to mix it. So that's what I'm doing now. And then with a the brush or with, with your fingers, whatever you want to do, let's do it with a brush so you guys can see how amazing this is. You take it and you apply it. And look at the finish. Like It's super foily, super shiny. I love that. I think I took too little of it, <laughs> but you guys have get the idea of how to use it. Super, super nice. I love this. And you can mix different shades together and you have this little palette here that you can take out, wash it and then put it back there so you have everything clean in your palette. And it's super nice, I love this. I hope he creates more shades, like different shades to it. It will be nice. And the other product, I, I only got these two palettes and the mid and medium. I wanted one of the small, the mini palettes that he created for holidays. And this is the blue one called uh, Glam Quads Patty Glam. And let's try, let's, oh my God. <gasps> Look at this, this is amazing. Let's swatch them here on the top of my hand. Wow, the finish of these shadows is amazing. There's, look, I did the swatches and still have left in my fingers. Oh my God, wow. I go in and still have <laughs> This is amazing, wow. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try them out. And the last package, I think is coming from Makeup Revolution. And this is super exciting too, because they finally did the restock of the Disney collection they created with the princesses. And they also had it on sale. So you will buy three products and pay for two. So I ordered the three palettes from the princesses that they had. Yay, it's super, super cute. So let's open the first one is the Beauty and the Beast. You can see it here. It looks like the, a little uh, book. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna watch a Disney movie after I finish it. <laughs> My husband is like... <laughs> this is the Beauty and the Beast. It's the same as the uh, box and Let's see it inside. This is how it looks inside. So this side here is all face products and these are all eyeshadows. So it comes, I think is three, two blushes, three highlighters and one bronzer. So let's see. Let's swatch the eyeshadows first and then we swatch the face products. Let's swatch Enchantress which is this deep blue here. Oh my God, wow. The gold one called Beauty and this red here called, called, called Rose. <laughs> Let's watch it in here. The red is not too powerful, but the other two are very nice. This is the blue. The blue is like that cream type of finish that is like a shimmer. No, it's not a shimmer, it's not a matte, but it's in between. And this is more like a shimmer. And the red, I have seen better reds. I guess if you use it to diffuse it around whatever shade you wanna use, it's fine, but it's not too powerful. And let's swatch the face products now. Let's swatch tell as old as time. Tell as old as time. Let's swatch bonjour. And let's swatch the bronzer, which is called Maurice. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing stuff well, but whatever. This is, <laughs> this is the bronzer, which for my skin is almost like the same color of my skin. Maybe you guys don't even see it. 
this is one of the highlighters which will serve you as those type of highlighters that you apply on top of the blush to give the blush a little uh, shimmer and it's really very really nice it's not as powerful or shimmery as a highlighter but will give you that shine on top of a blush let's swatch actually one of the highlighters that i think is going to be a little bit more powerful which is be our guest and this is more of a true highlighter and yeah it has like a golden undertone you can see there they're not as potent as a regular highlighter i think they would be best for those days that you don't want to use an actual highlighter just blush and put a little touch of a shiny thing on top this is going to be nice so that's it i'm going to put the plastic bag so because they have uh, different products I don't want the highlighters or the shadows to mix with each other. The next one is the Princess and the Frog. And this is how it looks like, super cute. I think this one is going to be great for my skin tone because I think it was the deepest one. I think this one was the mid-tone one and this one is the deepest one. And you can see here are the shades for your face and all of these are eyeshadow products. And let's try them out. Let's swatch Udu. Ooh, this is cool. Kiss, which is a beautiful purple shade. And let's try a matte shade. Let's try this one called Gumbo. They feel super, super creamy, which is very nice. Ooh, this one is very gorgeous. It's much better than the red shade that I tried before. And these are not too strong, but I'm not mad at it because maybe if you use it with your brush a little bit wet or stuff like that, it's going to give you a beautiful shade. Or if you want to blend them and mix them with the other shadows, you can do that because they're not like a true shimmer shade. They have that consistency, like I told you before, like it's not a shimmer, but it's not a matte color. So those actually are great to use as either or <laughs> you know will give you that playtime <laughs> and let's swatch now the blushes and bronzer i want to see this one which is a very orangey type of blush look at this it is mardi gras let's try this beautiful uh, shimmery highlighter it's called tiana's place and let's try this one here which is like a bubblegum pink color Whoa, look at that. <gasps> Amazing. This one is almost there, and this one is Mardi Gras. And this last one is going to be Tiana's Place, which is the beautiful uh, shimmer highlighter. I think those highlighter, all of them are created more for those like natural days because are no like the very potent type of uh, highlighter, but they are super shiny, anyways. But I really, really love this one. This one, as of now, is my favorite one. The Beauty and the Beast is nice, but I was betting more on the reds because that's basically the color theme of the whole thing. So I was betting that the red would be like strong red. And this last one is Cinderella. And I think this was the one created for lighter skin tones. Let's see. I love the packaging. It's so beautiful, it's like a, a storybook. And yes, this is more towards light skin. You can see like the highlighters even are lighter than the other ones. So I have to try this one, Drisella. This is like an aqua green. Oh my God, beautiful. And I wanna try this one, Miracles, which is like a grayish blue. And let's try one of the matte ones. Let's try Cinder, which is a gray color, matte color. So this is the gray one. Cinders, well, it's not bad. This is going to be Miracles. They're not too strong. That's the only thing that I'm not super excited about. And this is going, ooh, this one is beautiful. This one is Drisella. Yeah, they're not too strong, but I'm gonna have to work with them and see maybe with a primer or with your brush wet will be better and let's try the blushes let's do happily ever after which is like a true corally type of blush let's do bbd which is like a grayish silvery highlighter 
and a dream is a wish, which is like a bubblegum pink or no bubblegum pink, I will say Barbie pink. And this is a dream is a wish, which is the pink I'm talking about. This is the highlighter, the BBD, which is very, very, it's going to look super ashy on me if I apply it. Like I, I wouldn't even try with it, <laughs> but I guess I can use it as a eyeshadow or maybe in the inner corners. And this is going to be the blush, the happily ever after. I like the blush. It's very, very nice because I love all the coral type of blushes, like those blushes that have the coral undertones. I love them. So I really, really love the blush in this one. And that's on the beautiful Disney Princesses collection that I bought from Makeup Revolution. Okay, guys, this is the end of this month's haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you are here right now, still with me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me in the comments below if you have any questions about any of the products that I bought or if you have any particular suggestions about future videos. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, like this video, and I see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Yo, 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 yo.